Well, welcome back to Bears Raj uh, BRS uh, here on a muggy, rainy uh, Sunday afternoon here in Texas. Little uh, brief follow up on the uh, restoration of the Dayton saw. I have got these knots permanently secured just for video's sake, uh, showing you what's going on uh, with uh, what we got accomplished yesterday. Rebuilt the rollers and uh, Absolutely, I was afraid I was going to have to replace every one of them. All the uh, pilot uh, oil passages cleaned out great. They all run great. There's no slop. Uh, I mean, they're tight. They roll great. And here's the one for the uh, guard up here on this end. I won't put it on right now. And uh, I may end up ordering or turning most likely I'll order them. I mean, a pair of these for both rollers is less than eight bucks. That'd be foolish to turn them. But you can see the oil weeping out, and uh, man, they just cleaned up good. Nope, not going to paint these. Uh, I'm going to keep it where I can blow them out good because uh, it is going to have a coolant on there. So this is the head. Uh, here is the plate that mounts to the base. There is that lighter first uh, color. It'll get another good coat, which is going to be the two different greens. The legs uh, stands will end up that lighter green and the safety yellows. Hanging over here on the old toolbox, and the shop is kind of a mess. I got to get back in here and clean this up. This uh, got uh, two coats. Going to get one last coat on the guard by the motor. And uh, there's the motor plate. And then there is the uh, spring arm uh, that attaches uh, so it'll stand up vertically. This is going to end up safety yellow on the spring. Let's go back here towards the bench. Yeah, really a uh, humid. Uh, we had a little, pretty nice little shower earlier. Got uh, 40 or 50 percent today. We've already gone over all these parts. The Acme screw here uh, for the adjuster, really good shape. And I'm going to have to take this one down next here sometime today or tomorrow. And I'll remove these and I'll put these on the uh, wire wheel, clean them up good. Back here, we got the old Dayton motor uh, starting to tear down. Very happy so far. You get this bench over, or this stool over here by this bench. She turns over really good. No problem there. Capacitor looks really good. Uh, had some old Texas dirt daubers, not many, but they started to try to build a nest in here. And uh, now to get this thing and rewire it, this going to the switch. And speaking of switch in my pocket, I've got several of these on off switch. I'm going to ohm it and see if everything is still working. May just use it. It's uh, the switch that came with this saw. And uh, if not, I've got another one. It's got a little bit longer arm on it and uh, 120 volt, 60 hertz switch. So everything is kind of progressing. And uh, this is a half horse. A little hard to see with the glare. Half horse Dayton. And uh, pretty soon here we'll have this thing rewired and see how she runs. And uh, I've got another Dayton sitting over identical to it same capacitor and it came off of uh, a, another sawmill or uh, not a bandsaw but a little old sawmill i had uh, set up and it was a half horse so we're good to go so far and i've uh, got new wiring got a new uh, plug uh, with ground and this motor was grounded so that's good and i think we're going to be in good shape motor will get of course separated here blown out good all the uh, put a little bit of debris and grease and clean ever screw now I'm not like I did remove the metal tag I'm not removing this so I'm gonna have to tape in on the Dayton here uh, which is normal and uh, get this old nice cover painted and it will go into it's either gray or a metallic uh, I've got some really nice metallic black, but I think we're going to go in and uh, splurge and get it back to gray 
and uh, have to build a guard for the uh, blade yet. All right, Bears Rod Shop, it's just going to be a short one today, and uh, y'all come back and visit. Please share. Have a safe Labor Day, and catch AR, uh, ARW over there, Harold, uh, today's discussion, 3 to 4, it's Texas Central time. Y'all come back and visit. We're out of here.